Hi, welcome back to the series of automotive sessions. I am Tota Krishna Hema, your automotive quality expert. So in this video, we are going to discuss about penetration testing in automotive cybersecurity. So to get more and more videos which are similar to this video is like subscribe to my channel. Also like press on the bell icon to get the more notifications. Why do we perform pen testing? So pen testing is something like to find out the security compromises in automotive system in order to take appropriate security measures to protect the data and maintain functionality. It is an attempt of breaching of any automotive system. So it's like it is a sim it is it, it performs in a simulated environment. So like how a hacker may attack the system through white hat hacking or attack. So it helps to find out weak areas where the hacker can ha can attack or attack to gain access to the automotive features or you know um, the ECUs and um, data also. So the data includes the personal data, also the diagnostics data of the system. So it also helps in it estimating the magnitude of uh, the potential attack on automotive system in the previous slide we got to know like why do we perform pen testing so here is the slide like on when to do pen testing so as soon as we complete feature a system so we will perform pen testing also whenever a new threat is identified by hackers so internally that is by white white hat hackers so we need to perform pen testing also like whenever there is an add in scope of the uh, system or a new network or something is added to the existing info infrastructure then we need to perform pen testing also whenever we update or install new software into the automotive system then we need to perform pen testing also uh, pen testing can be done in white box testing, gray box testing and white and uh, black box testing formats. In pen testing there are five stages. So stage one is test planning, phase two is reconnaissance and three is scanning, four is gaining and maintaining access, five is analysis. So test planning define the goals and objectives of penetration testing so for what we are performing it so to identify the vulnerability to improve the security of the technical systems or technical or automotive system so in compliance with iso 21434 requirements or any other cyber security requirements so reconnaissance is like it is a process of intelligence gathering that is analysis of the preliminary information so most of the times the tester does not have much information other than the preliminary information such as what is the network what are the domain names uh, what is the mail server so these all things will be there the tester starts by analyzing the available information and if required requests for more information such as system description network plans etc from the client so the goal of reconnaissance is to obtain a complete and detailed information of the system so initially so it is nothing but analysis in in a in a summary so it's like gathering all the information which is required for this pen testing so the next thing is about scanning so scanning is like you know to know how the target system will respond to various hacking attack, attacks so this is typically done in static analysis and dynamic analysis in static analysis we are going to inspect an app or feature or automotive system score to know its behavior while running so static analysis tools scan the complete code in one go so dynamic analysis is like inspecting an automotive app or feature or system scored in a running state so it provides a real-time view into the app or feature or systems performance so gaining and maintaining access so gaining access stays uses 
internet or web connectivity or any other usb connectivity so which attacks such as cross site scripting sql injection and also backdoors to expose targets vulnerabilities so testers then attempt attempt to exploit these vulnerabilities typically by escalating privileges stealing data intercepting traffic etc to understand the damage they can cause maintaining access to see the if the vulnerability can cause to achieve a persistent presence or in the exploited system and is long enough for a hacker to gain in depth access so and it is it will emit it emitted advanced persistent threats which often remain in the system for months in order to steal cars more sensitive data so gaining and maintaining access is nothing but so how how could we able to get the access of data is one thing and how long you can sustain the same state of gaining access to the data is the second thing so what about analysis stage 5 is about analysis the pen test results will have these details such as like specific vulnerabilities that were exploited so ex list of exploited vulnerabilities okay sensitive data that was accessed the amount of time the pen tester was able to remain in the system undetected so gain and maintenance phase is when like you know we will get to know these things and test results will be analyzed by security personnel to help updating the auto systems waf configuration settings against weak discovered in the test so test results will also help with other application security solutions to patch vulnerabilities and protect against future attacks so vulnerability assessments or vulnerability assessment is a technique of identifying and measuring security vulnerabilities through scanning in a given environment so it all it is a comprehensive assessment of the information security system or you know the result analysis so the test result analysis so further it identifies the potential weakness and provides the proper mitigation measures that is it will prevent the a reoccurrence of the issue to either remove by either removing it or you know to reduce the severity of the upcoming risk or the risk level so with this i came to the end of this topic so hope you like this concept so thank you so much for your time